Welcome back everyone. I just kind of wanted to do a quick little comparison between an M1 iPad and an M1 MacBook. I've been using the M1 MacBooks for a while and when I heard the M1 iPad Pros come out, I was actually pretty shocked. I'm really happy with it, but which one is the correct decision for you? First of all, I think both of these options are very good, you know, portable devices. I will tell you though, and I've said this for a long time, I love the MacBooks. I love MacBooks more than I love iPads. I owned every single iPad. I've owned most of the MacBooks. And right now my M1 MacBook is something that I pick up all the time. It's definitely one of my favorite devices. I think the M1 iPad Pro is going to be solid as well. And performance wise, they are going to be roughly around the same performance. So I don't think you should pick up one device over the other just based off the performance increase or whatever, because they have the same chipset inside of them. Obviously RAM is going to be a little bit different. I'm sure the iPad Pro, the M1s are probably going to be tapped out at like six gigs of RAM or maybe even eight gigs if we're lucky, but the M1 MacBooks go up to 16 gigs of RAM. So that's a pretty big option right there but you know ipad os is different than mac os so that's another pretty big thing however one cool little option that we have on the m1 ipad pro is, is that we do have 5g support that is something we don't have on any macbooks you know you can't really get a data plan on a macbook right now which is kind of weird but you do have that on your ipads which is really awesome on top of that you're getting a much better front-facing camera on the m1 ipad pro than you're getting on the m1 macbook pro so that's another pretty big deal. But on top of that, if we're talking the 12.9 inch iPad Pro, you are getting a much better display on that device than on the M1 MacBook Pro or the M1 MacBook Air. So that's another pretty big deal. That liquid retina XDR display that's on the M1 iPad Pro is going to be better than the display that you're getting on the M1 MacBook Pro, which is pretty insane to me because, you know, based on what Apple said, you know, you're getting ProMotion, which is awesome on both iPad Pros, but it's going to be something like the Super Retina XDR display that Apple made. It's almost like the same thing on this iPad based on what they said, not unquote, but that is something that's really cool. One little thing though is that you are getting more portable ports on the M1 MacBook Pro, so you're getting two USB Type-C ports obviously with Thunderbolt on both of those ports. The M1 iPad does have Thunderbolt, which is so cool, that's a new addition, but it only is one port, so that's another pretty big thing. I will tell you, having the Apple Pencil support is really cool that the iPad Pros have that the M1 MacBook Pros don't have, but also I love the portability of an iPad. You know, I love having the ability just picking this thing up and moving it around, and it's much more portable than a MacBook in my opinion, but I will say, the MacBook is my go-to. It is the device that I will always pick up. And if my, you know, MacBook were to break, I would definitely that same day get another one. But if my iPad were to break, I mean, I don't think I would really care too much. I mean, I would care, but it, you know, it's not that much of an urgency for me because I don't use it. If an iPad is a huge workflow on your device in your life right now, then I would recommend picking it up. But otherwise, if you don't have either one of these, I would recommend picking up a MacBook. I feel like you're going to be getting a much better device and much more functionality from that. But I think the iPad Pro, the M1, is a very, very good replacement, and it has a lot going forward as well. I'll be picking up the M1 iPad Pro very soon and making videos and all that stuff about it. So keep a lock down on the channel so you don't miss that. But that really pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.